Madam Secretary, um, I did not issue a subpoena to the whistleblowers because, number one, there was an undertaking last hearing that you would release the affidavits of the whistleblowers once they have been, the charges have been filed. And you did. You did, you complied. To that you would bring the whistleblowers. In fact, we had a meeting last week. You and I met, and in that meeting, I asked you point blankly, will you bring the whistleblowers? Can you bring the whistleblowers now? And you did say yes. In fact, you even named them. You even named, so tinanong kita, sino mga whistleblowers ang dadalhin mo? Sabi mo, Ben Herloy, Gertrudes Loy, Marina Sula, and Merlinia Sunya. Kayo po nagbigay ng pangalan, so sumangayon ako. At sinabi ko pa sa iyo, if you remember, sabi ko, at pati yung ibang whistleblowers kung maaaring dadalhin. Then sabi mo, something to the effect that maybe I'll see if we can bring them. So when we did talk last week, well, yes, I, I, it was out of respect also for, for your honor that you were requesting additional whistleblowers. But after our conversation, um, your honor, I, I had to take a closer look at the law, particularly the Ombudsman law and uh, the Ombudsman rules of procedure. And it was confirmed from my reading of the law that actually whenever a case has been filed with the Ombudsman, the general rule becomes no publicity if it will prejudice the disposition of a case before the office of the Ombudsman. Hindi ko talaga maintindihan, Madam Secretary. And what you have done is unprecedented. Unprecedented. And in my view, you have attempted to undermine and diminish the power of the Senate Blue Ribbon Committee. I'm very, very disappointed. And I do not agree with your stand. I am therefore issuing a subpoena for you, directed to you, to have the whistleblowers appear before the Senate Blue Ribbon on Thursday, 10 o'clock in the morning. This hearing is suspended.